Welcome everyone to a pretty historic vlog here on the channel at Coaster Studios. You know, I gotta apologize last year when I said, yeah, I'm not gonna be renewing my season pass, and then I totally did. Um, what happened is, you know, I've been uh, going to school out here for the past four or five years, and now that I'm graduated, I am moving out of Utah, and so Lagoon has kind of been that uh, third home park of mine, you know, when I'm not able to visit Kingsman and Bush Gardens. But now I am actually moving, you know, I was able to get a couple more visits in this year, and this is gonna be my last visit to Lagoon uh, for the foreseeable future. You know, it's been really great getting to know this park and, and spend a lot of time with the rides, uh, but you know, it's probably gonna be a while till the next time I return here. Um, but that's not the only reason why this is a historic video. You know, for the past year, we've been living in the COVID-19 pandemic, which has just been an absolute uh, adjustment that we've had to go through. You know, how can we visit uh, theme parks during a pandemic safely? And so uh, we documented, you know, how these parks have been uh, putting in these different rules and procedures, you know, social distancing, wearing the masks. And now we're at the point where parks are rolling back those procedures. So just like how we documented when they were going in place, now we're gonna document them as we're leaving. And probably the biggest change that we are seeing across America is that masks are no longer a requirement. The big reason for this is because the CDC recently put out guidelines saying, if you are fully vaccinated, then you do not have to wear masks because the chances of you getting COVID and spreading it to others, so you know your safety is not compromised, there is just so little chance of it being able to spread, especially uh, outdoors where you know most of amusement parks take place. And I've been fortunate enough to receive both doses of the Moderna vaccine. And I personally feel comfortable walking around an amusement park now without a mask. Obviously, if you are not yet at that point, I encourage you, uh, do whatever you feel most comfortable with. And I understand that, you know, at, these, at this point, there's no real way for the parks to actually verify whether or not you've been vaccinated. It's kind of the honor system. So please, I encourage you, if you are eligible, if you are able, please go get vaccinated. It's the responsible thing to do. Um, and if you are not, then please do continue to wear a mask, even if it's not a requirement. You know, this entire time that the pandemic has been going on, when the parks have said, you have to wear a mask here, we've done it, even in Lagoon, it's never really had that formal mask requirement when you're walking around the midways and the CDC said you should wear a mask and so I was doing that and now we're at the point where they're saying uh, you don't necessarily have to you know it's gonna be an adjustment but um, I am excited for this next chapter and I look forward to visiting all these different amusement parks uh, throughout the coming season uh, there are still some parks that are saying hey if you're indoors or you know when you're actually waiting in a queue you still have to wear a mask absolutely still gonna do that uh, we're gonna continue to follow whatever guidelines the parks have in place as well as the local guidelines, because I understand that not everywhere in America uh, these guidelines are going to be the same. So please follow whatever uh, your local area is encouraging. And uh, it, I think this is an exciting time. You know, it shows that we're we're over the hump. You know, in the metaphorical roller coaster of this pandemic, and we're getting to the point where now life can return to normal, or at least we're getting there. And so um, I think it's pretty cool. And you know, we've we've worked hard to get through this, and uh, this is this is kind of the reward in a way. So let's go inside Lagoon and see how it is. Last time walking through those turnstiles and already one of the big changes that we've seen uh, since the policies have started changing is hand stamps are back. You know, that was one of the things that Lagoon actually got rid of. They replaced them with wristbands that you would have to put on when you enter. But now we have seen the return of the hand stamp, which in my opinion is still completely useless and they don't need to do that at all, but whatever. Lagoon has a new show called the Super Best Totally Awesome Extra Amazing Game Show for kids. That might take the record for being the longest show name I've ever heard. Hackers, Magical Creatures, and Motorbike Adventure got nothing on the Super Best Totally Awesome Amazing Extra, sorry, Extra Amazing Game Show for kids. Per usual, Lagoon lines are spilling out onto the midway. This right here is the line for Spider. Pretty lengthy. We're heading over to Wicked because, big news, Wicked is back open. It was down for the first month or so that the park opened for the year uh, because they were waiting on parts from Europe. But now it is back and operational. But having Wicked back open does come at a price. This is the line stretching all the way down to the entrance to Fire Dragon. And then I think it keeps on going. Yes, we are about to wait in it because gotta ride Wicked one more time. Gotta experience that airtime over that top hat. I missed that. Uh, I am very curious though how long this wait is gonna be because it is the longest line I have ever seen for this attraction. You see, this is why I wish Lagoon had actual queues because you have the line for Wicked and the line for Fire Dragon and it is so easy to get confused over which one is which because they are literally bumping up next to each other. I've always 
appreciate how Lagoon has these boards outside of Wicked explaining how linear synchronous motors work. I mean, the inner nerd in me absolutely loves that. I think it's cool. Some guy in the station just started singing Country Roads, Take Me Home, <laughs> and everyone in the station is just going, West Virginia. <laughs> Which like why? Oh, so wearing a West Virginia shirt. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's so <laughs> random. Like what the heck? Thirty to forty minutes later, and we're here on the front row of Wicked. This is still one of the coolest first launches, just because you're still accelerating once you're vertical. around the earth is the same as riding roller coaster 52,591 times. That's, That's a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> to put that in perspective, this is a two minute ride, so that would mean riding it 73 days straight without getting off. That's a long time. Should I buy this? Stupid. All right, everyone, come to Fun Spot Lagoon. We got white lightning, we got mind blower, we got cannibal. What more could you want? We got a Dole Whip, and it is so good. Oh. And we decided to come over here, get one last look at the coaster formerly known as Primordial. And you know, I've been watching them build this thing for three years. It's still not open. You know, I bet when you come back here in another three years, it's going to be the exact same. So sad. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry into this dull whip. <laughs> For the night here on Cannibal at Lagoon, and my last ride at Lagoon for who knows how long. You know, it's been good. I mean, he said that before. I did. Okay, shut up. <laughs> this time I really mean it. <laughs> I'll I'll be back eventually, but uh, yeah, it, it's a little weird walking out of here, uh, knowing that this is officially one thing's for sure. This is officially no longer a uh, home park. Yeah, that part is not changing. I know, and I feel like this is a. It's like a significant milestone in our friendship, man. And we've been like hanging out for like... I know, we, we met and bonded because of uh, going to Lagoon together. So 
you have to come meet up with me at uh, I know, who it's, knows it's where really else. It's going to give me a reason to really just get out and travel. Yeah, come out east. <laughs> so, seriously. Yeah. yeah, that's going to do it for this video here at Lagoon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.